In the last two episodes, we discuss about the top seven factors that impact cost in Azure. All of them are now listed on your screen. Resource type, consumption, maintenance, geography, network traffic, subscription type, and Azure Marketplace. And post that, we also discuss in detail about the pricing calculator and the total cost of ownership or TCO calculator. How can you use them and what are the differences between the both? And now friends, in this video, let's take a step ahead and understand another very important aspect and that is Microsoft Cost Management. So let's start understanding Microsoft Cost Management with the definition. So here it comes. Microsoft Cost Management is a suite of tools that help organizations monitor allocate and optimize the cost of their Microsoft Cloud workloads. And friends, in case some of the part of the definition is not clear to you yet, please do not worry. We will take everything in detail in the upcoming section of this video. So now let me cover some key aspect of cost management and then I will take you to the Azure portal for a quick hands on. So as I said, it is the solution that allows you to control and monitor the cost of Azure resources. All this control and monitoring comes from the features like cost analysis, alerts and budgets. And not just that, you can also automate and export data or you can access that directly through the REST API or build some reporting over the same in the Power BI. Who can access the cost management? Well, it's available to anyone with access to a billing or resource management scope. So anyone from your cloud finance team with access to the billing account or maybe your DevOps team managing the resources in the subscription or the resource groups, anyone with the proper access can have a look at cost management. Now, friends, another important aspect that influences the cost in Azure is subscription type. Well, first of all, here we have Microsoft Online Service Program that is further divided into free Azure account and pay as you go. Post that we have Visual Studio subscription, then we have Enterprise Agreement, Microsoft Customer Agreement, and lastly we have Microsoft Partner Agreement. And please note, we talked about all these subscription type in the episode 23. So in case you are interested to learn more details on subscription type, then you can check out the episode 23. The link is right there in the description box. Now friends, one more point I want to show you and then we will go to the Azure portal and that important point is billing scope. See, billing is a global service and that's why you need to understand it is available on multiple levels or you can also say the scope of billing. So cost management is available from within the billing experience and then you can also extract the billing or the cost information on management group level, subscription level or finally resource group level. And now I think we are ready to go on the Azure portal. So now let's explore cost management. I am in the Azure portal and you can broadly reach out to the cost management in two major ways. Firstly, this left hand side blade here, you can see that we have this cost management. Secondly, if you also want, you can come to this global search, find out cost and then you can have this cost management and billing. Click on this. So now you can have the brief summary of all the costs that you have incurred so far. Here you have other options as well. For example, under the cost management, you have cost analysis cost alerts, budgets. We will see all these options in just a little while. And then we have advisor recommendation. I will cover this topic in the next episode. Besides that, you also have information on your invoices, payment methods, payment history, reservation transaction or billing profiles. So now let's say that you want to have the understanding on your cost on the subscription level. In that case, you can come down to this Azure subscription. Let's click on this. So here you can see all the subscription that I have are listed here. In case you have multiple subscription, everything will come down here. You click on to one subscription and then you will reach out to this page. So here you can see you have a nice brief summary. You can understand many aspects of the cost here. For example, you can understand what is the spending rate and the forecast cost by resource then you can also understand what are the top products by number of the resources but now let's say that you want to have a more detailed look you can come down to here this option which says cost analysis click on this now friends on this page you can have much more details for example you can see what is the actual cost for you and this cost my friends here 0.02 kroners and this is because i'm in sweden so the currency will adjust according to your location so always remember this amount here it always relates to one specific period 
which is August 2023 in my case. But you can always change the date duration. For example, you can have last seven days or this month or maybe the quarter, year, monthly, anything that you want. For now, you can see that I have a cost of zero to crones. Let me just and this less cost is due to the fact that I just provisioned some of the resources so that I can show you some costs here. OK, so there are other interesting stuff also on this page. For example, you can change the grouping. Let me say that I want to have the look based on the service name. I can change the grouping like this for now because of very less data. It's not showing anything. Let's go back and change it to none. Similarly, you can also change the granularity of the report. For now, we have accumulated costs, but let's say that you're interested in the cost daily or maybe you are interested to have monthly view of the cost and not just that my friend if you want to change this graph type you can also do that come to this option here you can now have line chart or column chart or maybe table information so everything you can control all the aspect of your cost analysis and also my friends if you remember the presentation i told you that the cost management is a global tool and you can access the cost on various levels or the scope of the cost and for now we are on subscription level but let's say that you want to have the cost understanding on the resource group level then you can come to this resource group and then you select your resource group here and now if you come to the cost management on this level this means that you are seeing the cost on this resource group specifically so in case you have multiple resource group you can always analyze the cost per resource group similarly you can have the analysis on subscription level and also on the management group level for now i do not have management group level created but i hope you got the gist so friends until now we have talked about the cost analysis how you can find the cost or how you can dissect the cost on various levels how you can view the cost in different formats but there are other important things also to be understood for example what if you want to have some facility where you want to be alerted when your cost or when your budget thresholds are getting reached in that case you have to choose this budget option let's create a budget but before that let me go to the subscription level so here i'm on the subscription level i will click on this now i will go to the budget so let's create a budget and budget as i mentioned are very important part of the cost analysis for the fact that they keep you alerted or posted whenever your threshold limit or the budget is coming close so let's create a budget here let me give some name to this budget i will say ttpb and then i will say budget okay sorry for that and post that once you have given the name to the budget you have to specify what is the frequency or the period for the budget which means the amount that you are setting whether it's for monthly or quarterly or annually level so now let's keep it monthly and then you have to say what is the creation date let's keep it that way and what is the expiration date which means until when this budget will be valid i will keep this date as it is one more aspect of course is left and that is amount so for now i will just keep the amount as 50 now you can see that we have this option enabled let's say next and now you can see that we have reached to one more important aspect which is set alerts so what does that mean so basically you have set a budget of 50 and now you want to be informed or alerted whenever this threshold is reaching out so now let's set the parameter of our alert mechanism here you can see that we can have it on two levels the first one is on the actual level and the second one is on the forecasted level and the distinction between the both is very simple in case you set it on the actual level the alert will be triggered only once the actual spending has reached to certain limit but in case of the forecasted azure always calculates the forecasted amount so this budget if i select the forecasted then it will be triggered on the forecasted amount for now i want to have on the actual amount and now in this percentage of budget i want to set some threshold let me say that 80 percent so what i'm essentially saying is my cost or my actual budget is 50 so let's say i'm saying that whenever 80 percent of my budget is reached which is 40 euro or 40 dollars then you send me some alert moving ahead we have this action group but i will not choose the action group i want to be alerted on my email i will enter my email here let me enter that so this is my email on which i want to be alerted whenever this threshold limit is reached so i have entered the email so in case you have multiple emails or maybe you have multiple stakeholders you can enter all those emails here and then you can also choose the language i will keep it default i will say create okay so here you can see that our budget is now created it is here you can see this ttbb budget let me click on this 
So now this budget is set whenever the threshold limit our budget is $50 or 50 euros or I think 50 SEK which is the Swedish kroner and then if the 80% of this budget which is 40 SEK is reached I will get an alert through email. So I hope this makes it clear how to set the budget and the alerts which is an important part of cost management. To summarize Azure cost management serves as a centralized service to report on the usage and the billing within your Azure environments. And its primary function is to enable the self-service exploration of the cost within your Azure setup. And this capability grants the flexibility to distribute cost-related responsibilities, empowering the application teams to efficiently oversee their Azure instances without any special privileges. And by utilizing budgets and alerts, you can monitor your consumption and receive notifications as you approach to the anticipated monthly Azure expenses. It's important to highlight that budgets serve as an indicator rather than strict expenditure limits and they do not directly stop your Azure services upon reaching the set budget thresholds. And friends, automation is one more great attribute of the budgets. For instance, if you're nearing your budget limits, you can also trigger some scripts that can bring down or shut down the virtual machines to control your cost. And moreover, my friends, Azure cost management is seamlessly integrated with the Azure Advisor presenting cost recommendation linked to your Azure resources. And finally, for those who are seeking the advanced reporting capabilities, Azure Cost Management facilitates automatic exploration of billing information to a CSV file within Azure Blob Storage. And this empowers you to seamlessly connect with the various reporting tools such as Power BI, enabling sophisticated cost analysis. And lastly, my friends, if you like the video, please do not forget to give it a thumbs up and also subscribe to the channel, press that bell icon to receive the timely notification share our videos with your loved ones or anyone who is learning Microsoft Azure and that's all for today I will see you in the next video till then stay fit keep learning and thanks for watching